Hey guys, welcome back to From the Depths. I thought I would make a 10 tips and tricks video for From the Depths. I don't know, nearing the end of my campaign. Um, and knowing that I, I'm kind of an experienced player with this game, not like an amazing player or anything, but I, I've got over 800 hours under my belt. And um, I thought I could just try to share some of my knowledge with you guys, because I, I know some people uh, who watch my videos don't have the game or at least are starting out so hopefully this can help you out and even if you are you know a veteran player maybe one of these tips in this video can help you out as well okay this ship is gonna be amazing the best thing I've ever built wait a second oh no yeah don't forget to put mirror mode on whenever you're building you don't want to end up like this guy I can't tell you how many times I've built the entire front section of a boat or the entire back section of a boat and I wasn't in the mirror mode and I just had to do the entire thing all over again. So definitely whenever you can just to check to make sure you hit N and your mirror mode because you don't want to redo things twice. Okay so the next tip I want to tell you guys is uh, how to use undo and redo. So imagine this scenario, you've built this weird looking thing on top of your ship and you think man this thing looks terrible I just gotta break it all down because it Actually, I, I hate it and I, I want it to disappear forever. So you delete it all. And then after you delete it, you take a look at your ship and you're like, you know what, that actually was pretty good. Guess what, you can hit Control Z to undo all the changes you've made. And then you realize, oh, wait a second, actually this thing still does look bad. You can hit Control Y to redo all the damage you've done. So uh, Control Z, undo, and Control Y, redo. Very helpful for building. Um, definitely don't forget about those too. Up next, we have a rather simple one. Have you ever just been building an awesome ship that you're like so proud of, like, man, look at this thing, I've never built something so beautiful, and then you realize, wait a second, I've built it backwards. <laughs> I know this has happened to me a couple times, um, and it kind of sucks, but once you know the fix for it, it kind of makes things feel a whole lot better, and it's really not too bad of an issue at all. In order to fix this problem, all you need to do is when, next time you load in the vehicle, you hit in the bottom right, these uh, two like swirly arrow sign right there. Uh, you hit that twice and it rotates the ship 90 degrees twice. So that was just a total of 180 degrees and it changes the whole direction of the ship. And you can do that again uh, or just one time and then that's pretty much it. So very helpful. Don't worry about building your ships backwards because you can always just change it. Up next we have a pretty useful one. From the depths, you know, you do a lot of battles in From the depths. You know, you, you build ships, but you also fight ships. So fighting is probably one of the coolest things and most important things of it. But, you know, since these battles are so cool, you gotta be able to see what's going on. So for this next one, um, I'm gonna show you how to lock onto an enemy ship. So all you need to do is hold control and then hit caps lock while you're looking at an enemy ship and then you'll lock onto them. Pretty simple, uh, but very helpful as well. Okay, so it's no secret that building in From the Depths takes a long time. I mean, it takes a really long time to do anything, especially if you're a new player and you're still getting comfortable with all the different mechanics, how everything works. So I'd recommend that whenever you can to use prefab things. Uh, they are prefab jet engines, uh, prefab AI as well. Uh, I used those a lot when I was starting out. Prefab engines, I still use those right now. Prefab steam engines, you guys saw me using that recently. Cram cannons, I mean the list just goes on and on and on uh, of prefab. So why go through the trouble of making all the ships yourself uh, and like making every single part by hand when you can just use things that are pre-made? I don't think it's cheating. Um, the prefabs aren't made to be like amazing weapons anyway. So I think it's fine to use them. Uh, and if you're not convinced yet, let me just reveal something I've been keeping a secret for a while. If you guys have been following my uh, campaign series, you'll know that the attack though is one of my favorite ships, but I, I have a confession to make. It's true. The dove is made out of <laughs> prefabs. Got a prefab engine in the front. Got the exact same prefab engine just copied right there. Prefab Deddy Blade. Can't see all of it, but it's the exact same one. The one on top doesn't actually do anything. And I even have a prefab AI. Literally, to make this ship, <laughs> all I did was just take three prefabs and like kind of glue it together. And I don't know, add some thrusters and six and missiles on the side. It's really not a complex ship. It really isn't, but it's it's great, it's fun, and it's, it's completely, I consider it my design, even though I use prefabs. So definitely use prefabs. Advanced cannons are one of the best weapons in From the Depths. However, they have one big weakness. Whenever they get shot by anything, they make a gigantic explosion and tear a giant hole through your ship, or whatever vehicle you're using. 
So that's why I recommend whenever you use advanced cannons, you use the ammo ejectors as well. Okay, take a look at the two turrets we have in front of us. On the right, we have one with ammo ejectors, and on the left, we have one without ammo ejectors. Try and spot the difference. I'm going to shoot each of them with one explosive shot from my hotbar. Um, so here's one shot for the one with ammo ejectors. Did some good damage. And here's the one without the ammo ejectors. Yeah, if you don't want that to happen to your turrets, I recommend using ammo ejectors. Just make sure that whenever you make a, your shell, your casing, you have the emergency ejection diffuse on your shell. Or else um, there still might be an explosion with this. And as you can see here, here all the ammo ejectors just underneath. But from the it's a pretty complex game, and once you get more and more territory throughout your campaign, you're going to have a lot, a lot, of resource zones and cargo ships. So you're going to want to set up cargo routes. So if you highlight your cargo vessel and you right click, you can tell it to go somewhere. However, if you shift right click, just hold shift and right click again, you can tell it to go in this path. So it's going to go along all these different paths and make things even cooler. If you shift right click onto one of these circles that appear, you create a loop. So now this cargo vessel is going to go in this loop forever. Now another thing in From the Depths, which is pretty cool, is you can set the... Well, it's something called this, like, uh, the Supply Chain Index, I guess that's what it's called. I don't know. I just call it, like, the different value level for the cargo slash creator. So, be essentially ships with a higher index, for example, this one has number 3 on the cargo, um, and this creator has number 2. Essentially, the ones with lower give to the ones that have higher. So if I were to make this one, it would now give its resources over to the creator instead of the creator giving its resources over to the cargo vessel. As you can see, sending resources over, if I make this back to a three, the creator is going to send all of its resources back over to the cargo. The only reason that they're not sending all the resources is just because they're both full. But basically, you can change the values over here and the higher is the one that like gets prioritizes with, with the resources and um, lower gives its resources more often. So this is very useful in the case that you most likely want cargo vessels to hold majority of the cargo so they can send it to your users because users up here get prioritized more than both the creators and the cargos. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you guys is that if you press... Okay, so in From the Depths, you know, once you build something kind of big, it gets com kind of complicated where everything is. You kind of forget um, maybe where all your weapon systems are, your AI, and you just kind of want to take a look at everything you've built, but it's like kind of all cramped and you can't really see everything very well. So if you hit the button P, so if you go into build mode and then hit the, uh, the key on your keyboard P, you can kind of see a smaller version of everything. And this view is somewhat helpful, but it's not that helpful. Um, What's more helpful is if you hold shift and then hit P. I don't know what this changing color stuff is, but when you click it a few times, you can get to this mode here and it shows just the weapons and the ammo storage and everything. You kind of get a nice skeletal view of your craft without all the structural blocks in the way. Uh, you can also hit it again and it'll like show you even less. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Yeah, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this is just a, supposed to be a short little video 10 tips and tricks. Let me guys know what you think. Um, let me know if any of them were helpful. Uh, yeah, once again, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.